Hello everyone and welcome back to the AMC Project Popcorn YouTube channel. My name is Ethan and today we're publishing the seventh video in the Daniel Meyer Transmittal Affidavit series. In this video, we're taking a brief pause from the Daniel Meyer Transmittal Affidavit to focus on something just as critical, AMC's market cap, stock price action, ATM offerings, and the major deals that were made in sequence during the height of the meme stock phenomenon. By walking through these events step by step, we'll break down the financial dynamics and help you better understand how AMC moved relative to stock price and market cap, what those deals meant, and how they shaped the trajectory of the stock during this historic run. So I think in, Dan uh, sorry, in Daniel Myers Series 3, we went over uh, Adam Aaron's monologue during one of his meet and greets. And during his monologue, he stated, which was factually not true, that there were 100 million shares outstanding on January 27, 2021. And during that video, which I'm gonna do over again today, I showed you the amount of ATMs that were done and how it was not factually true. It was impossible for 100, 100 million shares to be outstanding on January 27, 2021. What Adam Aaron did tell us is that there were 50 million shares owned by a Chinese company, and that company was Wanda. And then in that series, I also pulled up an SEC uh, filing, which showed that on August of 2020, AMC already had 100 million shares outstanding. So how is it possible, mathematically possible, that Adam Aaron's monologue is, is true that we had 100 million shares on January 27, 2021? And it, in fact, it wasn't. So let's go focus uh, on this Excel sheet and we'll go over uh, critical information. So on August 20, on August in 2020, there were 109, a little over 109 million shares outstanding. And AMC was, according to the charter, could issue and authorize the most was 524 million shares. Now, in that SEC filing, I showed you that the breakdown of the 109 million shares, 51 million share, a little over 51 million shares was Common B, which was owned by Wanda, and the and Common A, there were a little over 57 million shares. Okay, now what's the, and we went over, I think, uh, maybe series three or series four. What's the difference between common A and common B with respect to voting? Since Wanda owned 51 million shares of common B, they controlled the company. And how so? Because common B, if there was a vote, each share that they owned, they would get three votes per share. If you own common A, you would only vote one, you got one vote per share. So if you do the math in your head, if there was ever a, a vote on something, Wanda automatically controlled the outcome of that vote. Okay, so next we're going to go over how AMC was trading in 2020. What we're looking at here is AMC's uh, chart. Um, on the right side, on the vertical axis, you have uh, share price. You got to divide that by 10 as a result of the reverse split in uh, conversion in August of 2023, um, you now got to divide the prices on the right by 10. On the horizontal axis, you have the date. You also have the volume here. Here is the stock uh, and the prices uh, in candlestick form. So let's go to 2020. Uh, I think in video one and two, we the AI video told you the share price. Now we're going to look at it in a visual aspect through the chart. So in 2020, this is how AMC traded. This is January of 2020. You could see it traded uh, sideways, like around 650 to the high of $7. And then in February, it traded down. Now this indicates uh, that the stock came out with earnings and when's the conference call. That's the feature that uh, Thinkorswim provides. Then the stock traded sideways and then gradually went up a little bit. And then let's move quickly through. This is still 2020 and we'll get to August. Now in August, we told you how many out, uh, shares were outstanding. The equation for market cap is the amount of shares outstanding times the price. So you could see the stock gradually went up. That means the mar uh, market cap went up and we know there was 109 million shares outstanding. So you take the share price times the outstanding shares and you get the market cap. Then the stock went down, went a high from uh, around $7 down to a little over 
And then there was that action with the ATMs around here. And they close the year, the calendar year uh, for 2020 at the low of $2.12, which is indicated here. And this is now into 2021. So let's go back to the Excel sheet. All right, so we got August 2020. We have the market cap reflected in uh, column B. Column C is the stock range. Column D is the amount of shares outstanding. E is the closing price. F is the ATMs. Column G is deals that were made. And then column H and I will give you the dynamic or the, how uh, Wanda's stake in AMC was liquidated uh, during the course of 2020 into 2021. All right, so once again, August of 2020, we had 109 million shares, a little over 109 million shares outstanding. And the stock, as I showed you in the chart, traded from $4 range to seven. And once again, the equation is outstanding shares times stock price. And in August of 2020, AMC's market cap was around $655 million. Then we know that an ATM was done, so of 15 million shares. You add 100, a little over 109 million shares plus 15 million, you get to a little over 124 million shares. And on uh, September 24th, 2020, the stock closed at 461, giving it a market cap of 573, $573 million. Then on October 20th, 2020, there was another 15 million uh, share ATM that was done, increasing the outstanding flow to 139 million shares times it by the closing price of $3.09, giving AMC a market cap of a little over $430 million. Then November 10th, 2020, another ATM was completed for 20 million shares, increasing the outstanding shares to 159 million shares outstanding. Times that by the closing price of 351, you get a market cap of 500, a little over $559 million. And then the key date is December 11th, 2020. There was an ATM as well as a deal with Mudrick. Um, in December of 2020, uh, a AMC uh, made an application or filed with the SEC uh, to reserve uh, 200 million shares to do an ATM. They registered 200 million shares to do an ATM. They were successful in completing a little over 40 million shares and they also made a deal with Mudrick for 22 million shares which then causes the shares outstanding to go from 159 million a little over 159 million shares to 200 a little over 222 million shares thus the market cap on december 11th 2020 was a little over 871 million dollars and then with the 200 million shares that was registered with a little over 40 million uh, ex uh, executed the rest was carried over into 2021, which was 137 was completed in early or mid January, 2021, causing the outstanding float to go over 359 million shares. Then on January 25th, 2021, there was another 50 million ATM that was completed, resulting in the outstanding shares to be around 409 million shares, as well as January 27, 2021. There was 409 million shares, a little over 409 million shares. Now, during that series uh, three, I tabulated or calculated 309, three, a little over 389 million shares, which we forgot to incorporate the deal that was done with uh, Mudrick uh, in December. So it was an extra 22. So with the volatility on January 27, 2021, uh, as you recall, the stock gapped up from $4.97 and traded up to 20, closed at 1990, the market cap jumped to 8.1 billion. And then after that, as you recall, during that series three, uh, Adam, Aaron, and the board convened a special meeting on January 27, 2021, and requested to authorize another 500 million shares, doubling up the float, uh, doubling up their authorized shares. As we recall, uh, we discussed earlier, uh, AMC was authorized to issue a little over 524 million shares. Adam Aaron wanted to add another 500, making it a, bill, a little over a billion shares uh, to have either uh, available or to issue. So what else happened on January 27th? Uh, because of the volatility, um,
what's it called? Um, Silver Lake uh, exercised um, their debt, converted their debt into shares and then sold. And as a result of that transaction, a deal that was made with AMC and Wanda, if that trans transaction would occur with one, I mean, with a uh, Silver Lake and the other investor, it would activate or trigger uh, the contract that they had with uh, Wanda with AMC. So we're going to focus our attention now to uh, column H and I. So as a result of that transaction with Silver Lake, part of the deal that AMC had with Wanda, that Wanda would have to give up 5.6 million share, a little over 5.6 million shares of their common B. Uh, give it up. So that's what happens. So they start off with 51 on J January 29th or 27th into the 29th. Once the transaction settled, their amount of shares or stake in AMC went down to 46, a little over 46 point million shares. Now on February 1st, 2021, uh, Wanda converted all their common B to common A. So if you look at column H, the amount of shares stays the same, it's just converted. Now, also on February 1st, um, Wanda sold two, a little over 2 million shares. Thus, their stake went from 46 million down to 44 million, now common A. Now, it's important to understand, as the ATMs are being issued and they converted, they lost any control of the company in any vote or anything. All right, so now let's go to March 11th, which was the record date. I think Series 5, I focused or series six, we focused on the vote. And I showed you through SEC filing that March 11, 2021 was the record date and AMC had to produce how many shares they had outstanding, which was 40, 450 million share, a little over 450 million shares outstanding of common A. And at that time, on that day, AMC closed at $10.28. So you do the math, that equates to 4.6 billion shares. Then we go to March 19th and March 20th. Uh, on those dates, Wanda sold uh, respectfully, uh, 1.5 million shares and 12 million shares on those two dates, bring their stake down from 44 million down to a little over 30 million shares. Then we jump to April 27, 2021. And on that day, uh, Adam Aaron announced that they uh, registered 43 million shares. And on that day, on April 27th, AMC stock price closed at 11.46. You times it by the outstanding shares, you get a market cap of 5.1 billion. Then we jump to May 2nd. Uh, there's a filing here, and we get the information through AMC that a little, uh, their outstanding shares jumped a little bit over another 100,000. So we could be more accurate with this math. You could take 400, a little 450 million shares, times it by 10,000. Three cents that it closed, you get a market cap of 4.5 billion on May 2nd. Then on May 13th, 14th, 17th, and 18th, Wanda continues to liquidate their position. They sold 95,000 shares on May 13th. They sold 4.1 million shares on May 14th. They sold 9 million shares on May 17th. They sold another half a million shares on May 18th, and and they concluded. Uh, holding uh, only 10,000 shares left when they sold another 16 mil a little over 16 million shares uh, again on May 18th. And that you could see over this SEC filing with AMC. Uh, you could see this is investor at amctheaters.com. It's the SEC filing. You could see a AMC's I uh, emblem or their profile or their... Anyway, um, here you could see all their shares sold. And that, I took all that numbers and put it in an Excel sheet. If someone wants this SEC filing, let me know. I could uh, incorporate it into the um, nest. All right. So as you can see, now uh, Wanda's stake is 10,000 shares. Now let's move to uh, June 2nd, which was the record date for the July 29th, 2021 vote. And this gives us the latest update, current or accurate, more accurate, with the numbers I have without uh, SEC filing, with AMC filing SEC, making filings with the SEC. This is just uh, incorporating the ATMs plus uh, what was the current outstanding shares. Sometimes they might offer shares to uh, employees. So this is 100% accurate 
uh, as a result of a record date. So there were a little over 501 million shares. And mind you, this was the high uh, the stock traded, $72.62. And the high of the market cap, plus or minus, was $36 billion on June 2nd, 2021. Now, on this day, June 2nd, 2021, um, Adam Marin made a deal with Mudrick, giving them 8.5 million shares. And then the following day, we'll go into that in another video series, I think the 7th. But this is just uh, information just to show you uh, market cap analysis. Another deal was done. Another ATM was done for 11.5 million shares, which increased the float to 513 million. And the stock closed at $56.68 on June 30th, giving the market cap of $29, million, $29 billion. So that's it. Um, one thing I just want to add and conclude with is, as a result of the APE and conversion reverse split, so many people are now referencing stock price and what they have to get to to get to the high. But it's not... Uh, it's not the right way to look at it. You have to look at market cap because of the dilution and the dilution factor. You have to use market cap um, as a way to understand. Uh, so it's an apples to apples uh, understanding of where the stock's trading right now. So because so you have to use this equation to figure it out. If you think you the stake you own and you need uh, add more shares, you think you have to go to $720 to get an accurate assessment where you would have to sell. It's not true. You would have to use market cap. Right now, I don't even know, maybe there's over 400 million shares, which is equivalent to 4.5 billion shares. In order to get a one-to-one -one comparison, that 4.5 billion shares has to be divided by the market cap of 36 billion to equate what $72.62 is really on the chart. Uh, we'll go into that more detail down the road, but uh, hopefully people are understanding this. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments. I might uh, recap, do another recap in the beginning of uh, the next video. So anyway, thanks a lot. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section. Have a good night. Bye.